Hey, what's up guys? It's Chai here, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing a game that deals with that deals with a topic that not everyone is really comfortable, you know, talking about. Uh, th this topic that I'm referring to has to do with depression. That is what this game is about. So, if you cannot handle any... Well, if you cannot handle this kind of topic, then uh, I would suggest not watching this video. But if you are still here, then you do wish you continue watching this video, and you do not suffer with depression. If you do, I would suggest not doing that. Again, this is the last warning before I start the game. So... Ooh. Okay, so we got, uh... Okay, well, I think I'm gonna start with, uh... Are you recovering? So... I'll start with this. You'll be given choices as the game progresses. Each choice you make will influence the outcome of the day. Okay. Morning. Well, it looks like I made it through another night. I don't know if I feel relief or dread. The dread of having to face another day. I sleep, but I'm so tired. So, so tired. I toss and turn. My whole body aches, but I've not exercised in weeks. I barely have the strength to open my eyes. I'm disgusted with myself for doing nothing and just moping. I need to get up and do something, but I feel like I can't. One step at a time, just get off the bed and try to get ready. Okay, well, let's shower. Leaving my bed makes me feel cold and vulnerable. I balance and shift my weight between my two feet, no longer depending on a piece of furniture for support. I take a few heavy steps to put on the first clothes that I manage to reach. I don't think about what to wear anymore. As long as I don't smell too bad, I don't want to ruin another person's day with my poor. Being a burden to myself feels bad enough. Okay, take a deep breath. I know it's just leaving the house, a simple thing, but the struggle to do so has really worn me down. I need a moment to calm myself. Okay, I'm out now. I did it. I'm supposed to feel good, right? I achieved something I'm usually unable to when... Ugh! The morning crowd feels so overwhelming. People everywhere. And they're in my space. I quickly move to a quiet area where people I judge and accuse of being unaware of the world are not present. Mm. Should we walk or should we take the train? Hmm, let's see. Let's do... Let's do the train. Take. 
A couple of friends I used to hang out with are in the next cabin. I can't remember the last time I had a proper conversation with them. Speaking to people has become an almost impossible task recently. <sighs> wow, they're sponsoring. I just just made them. I don't want them to think anything is wrong with me. Fitting in is already tough enough as it is. I make my way over slowly, pushing past people who make their demands obvious. I stand just slightly outside the circle they have already formed, and they turn their heads to look at me. They give their usual greetings, a mixture of head nods and hellos. When one of them asks, You alright? We haven't seen you in a while. I feel unprepared to answer. You gotta tell someone about your depression, guys. You gotta open up. My mind races. What if they judge me? What if they don't believe what I'm saying and think I'm weak? What if they laugh or think I'm joking? A long list of what is pollute my mind. And in there, somewhere, are also the questions. What if they care? What if they understand? Before I catch myself, I hear the words come out of my mouth. I'm not okay. They look at me intently, waiting for me to say more or give them an explanation for my answer. I look down, avoiding the stairs. I think I may be depressed. I don't know. I just... I just don't feel good. I now learn it's more difficult to explain what I've been going through than I initially thought. I roll my eyes around, mouth ajar, trying to find the words, but none came to mind. Someone scoffs. Depression? <laughs> you're just thinking too much. Or maybe you're just being ungrateful. There are people worse off than me. Another one says, My heart breaks. It took so much out of me to share what I just did. I feel accused, shamed, and even stupid. Why did I think that someone would care? Tears start to well up in my eyes. Hold on. Depression isn't something that should be taken lightly. It's a recognized medical condition. A closer friend of mine says, standing up for me. A genuine look of concern appears on his face. Come on, block it out. All the negative comments. Someone does care, and it's your chance to speak up now. Just be honest about how you've been feeling. I have an intense dialogue with myself. I almost forget where I am. My thoughts dart back and forth. I think I need to open up before I lose it. You sure? It could go terribly wrong, like it did all the other times. But if I don't do it, I may be stuck in this cycle forever. I hate it. I hate being stuck without a way out. Once we disperse from the rest of the group, I tap my friend on the shoulder. You mind just giving me five to ten minutes? He agrees with me. I try to articulate how I've been feeling and what has been going on with me. It's a challenge, but with every word, I feel a little lighter. He doesn't say much. He just listens to me. Once he sees that I'm done talking, he lets out a smile and says, You know, I don't have the answers for you, and I can't say I completely understand. But I do have my fair share of problems, and I'll be here for you when I need to talk. My suggestion? Seek professional help, like a counsellor or psychologist. I give it some thought. It sounds good, and I start to feel a sense of hope. Therapy? I've never really thought about it. It could possibly help me, especially now when... I feel like I've just been going in circles and regressing. Maybe getting another perspective would give me more clarity. And it's
it's okay to ask for help. Just like how people see a doctor when they have the flu. This could be my first step to recovery. Although not required, often the best way to get help is to get both therapeutic and psychiatric help. It's also important to have a strong support from family and friends or a community, people you know you can trust. Do not go through it alone. Okay guys, well, sorry that I stayed silent there for the whole thing, but I had no idea that there would be voice acting. I've never actually had a game with voice acting like that before. Anyway, yeah. Guys, you may have probably already heard this a bunch of times from other YouTubers, but if you have any medical, con medical conditions like uh, depression or anything of the sort, then please, please seek help. Talk to someone. And just maybe you can overcome that depression or medical condition you have. So please, get help. You are not alone in this world, so seek help. There are people that do care, like me. But, anyway, okay, now, I might save, I might save this one for another video. Eh, eh, screw it, why not, I'll play it. You're meeting a group of friends. You notice that your friend doesn't look well. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm not okay. I've been feeling very sad and I don't really know why. Oh, I see. Well, how long has this been happening? It's been a couple of weeks. I feel like I'm a failure. Oh, you should think positively. Don't focus on the negative. Yeah. Crap, I messed that up. Um, crap, no. Depression is more complex than sadness and severe emotions. It's pain, anguish, constant dread without relief. Depression is drowning in feelings of helplessness, hopelessness, and numbness. Sometimes it takes looking beyond the surface to see if someone close by is struggling. Be patient, as it may be difficult to understand them. They could have a different thought process, socially isolate themselves, and no longer partake in activities they once enjoyed. The first step we could take is to start being sensitive with the words we use. Listen, empathize, don't judge. Take what they are going through seriously and reassure them that things can get better. The best advice is to not jump into giving advice. Ask them how you could help and support them. Let them tell you. Cheer up and think positive thoughts are some of the worst things you could say to someone who is suffering from depression. If possible and they are willing, it would be wise to seek help from a mental health professional who 
can advise and guide them accordingly. Yeah, I, uh, I messed that up. I'm sorry, but I just messed that up. Oh, crap. Yeah, I gotta go back and do that again. Oh, man, I messed it up. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta restart that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. I've been feeling very sad. I don't really know why. Oh, I see. Well, how long has this been happening? It's been a couple of weeks. I feel like I'm a failure. Well, what makes you feel this way? I honestly don't know. I'm tired of feeling this way. I can lend you a listening ear right now. I don't know what would help you right now. Have you tried seeing a counsellor? I haven't really thought about that. Oh, okay. Um, I think you should. Give it some thought and we can work something out together. I could accompany you to see someone. It'll be okay. I'll be there with you. You're not walking this journey alone. Thanks. Yeah, I think it would be good if I have someone with me. Depression is more complex than sadness and severe emotions. It's pain, anguish, constant dread without relief. Depression is drowning in feelings of helplessness, hopelessness, and numbness. Sometimes it takes looking beyond the surface to see if someone close by is struggling. Be patient, as it may be difficult to understand them. They could have a different thought process, socially isolate themselves and no longer partake in activities they once enjoyed. The first step we could take is to start being sensitive with the words we use. Listen, empathize, don't judge. Take what they are going through seriously and reassure them that things can get better. The best advice is to not jump into giving advice. Ask them how you could help and support them. Let them tell you. Cheer up and think positive thoughts are some of the worst things you could say to someone who is suffering from depression. If possible and they are willing, it would be wise to seek help a mental health professional who can advise and guide them accordingly. Okay guys, well I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Dang. Yeah, actually this game actually hit me in the heart. Like, seriously, it did. And, uh, like I said before, guys, if you have any medical conditions like depression or something of the sort, make sure you seek help. Because there are people that do care, so get some help and just talk to someone. And instead of bottling it up, instead of, bo instead of bottling it up inside, because when you do that, you're just letting yourself being you're just letting yourself be isolated by the, the world well you're isolating yourself from the world is what i'm trying to say so please reach out, just please try and reach out to someone to talk to it's a whole lot better than being isolated but anyways guys that's gonna be it for me if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn all notifications on so you never miss a single video, and comment down below. And I might do another one of these. I might do another one of these types of games because they're actually pretty interesting. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one.
Peace out, guys.